And I killed Sparky too. <laughs> the MCU has just introduced a way to bring back Wanda Maximoff's Scarlet Witch, as seen in the first trailer for Agatha all along. The titular witch played by Katherine Hahn will finally be breaking free from the spell Wanda placed on her at the end of 2021's WandaVision. Wait, wait, wait. Hiya, hun. Say, that's some kind of getup you're wearing. Now, Agatha's new mission could very well lead to Wanda's return to the land of the living. As seen in 2022's Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, the Scarlet which gave her life to make up for all the chaos and destruction she brought in her uncompromising mission to be reunited with her children Billy and Tommy. No, it could go be loved. Now, it seems as though Wanda's death created the means for Agatha to break free from her spellbound prison in Agatha, all along where she'd been made to believe she was simply a nosy neighbor living in Westview. Looking to build a coven to join her on the Witch's Road, Agatha's new journey could lead to the Scarlet Witch's eventual resurrection. The Witch's Road in Marvel Comics explained. In the new trailer for Agatha all along, the main character, Agatha, is seen trying to get other witches to join her on something called the Witch's Road. This path is described as very dangerous by another character, Lilia Calderu, who calls it a death wish. Agatha wants to go on this road to try to get back the power that Wanda took from her. The Witch's Road has an interesting backstory in the Marvel comics. It first appeared in the 2016 Scarlet Witch comic series. In the story, Wanda and the spirit of a dead witch named Agatha travel on the witch's road to find the cause of a new magical sickness. This road is a special place just for sorcerers and magic users, and it's filled with dangerous magical creatures. It's a perfect setting for the new show about Agatha and her group of witches in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. How Marvel can use the witch's road to bring back Scarlet Witch. Marvel Studios' plot summary for Agatha all Along gives us a good look at the witch's road in the MCU. In Agatha All Along, the infamous Agatha Harkness finds herself down and out of power after a suspicious goth teen helps break her free from a distorted spell. Her interest is piqued when he begs her to take him on the legendary witch's road, a magical gauntlet of trials that, if survived, rewards a witch with what they're missing. Together, Agatha and this mysterious teen pull together a desperate coven and set off down, down, down the road. It's clear that Agatha wants to go on the witch's road to get her power back, but the big question is, who is this goth teenager played by Joe Locke? In the trailer, he wears a red shirt and blue headband, which suggests he might be a teenage version of Billy Kaplan. In the comics, Billy is one of Wanda and Vision's sons who becomes the magical hero Wiccan. This would make sense because, in the comics, Wanda loses her sons, and they come back in new forms, similar to what happens in the MCU. Maybe Billy's reason for helping Agatha and wanting to go on the witch's road is to try and bring Wanda back to life. This idea fits with the comics, where Agatha returns to life through the witch's road. In the show, it might be Wanda who has died, and Billy is trying to bring her back using this magical path. How the witch's road can further explain chaos magic in the MCU. The witch's road is a cool way to learn more about chaos magic in the MCU. Chaos magic is a special kind of magic that Wanda, also known as the Scarlet Witch, can use. In the comics, Wanda's adventures on the Witch's Road helped explain how her chaos magic works. So, it makes sense that the MCU might use Agatha all along and the Witch's Road to show more about what chaos magic is and how it works. Don't forget to like and subscribe!